Hey there, and welcome to my intro to design course. Uh, this is going to be a design course for new developers who are interested in getting into uh, game development. And we're going to be using the game engine Roblox for this. Um, I started using Roblox many years ago, and I've just enjoyed it as a great development platform and it's great for new developers. Uh, this is the first time I've ever tried this, so we'll see how the course goes, but if you enjoy it, I would love to make more. Uh, I just hope that I can provide, you know, some insight and some tools for you guys that I've learned and give you guys a head start in developing. Um, so let's, let's dive in. Um, for those of you who have Roblox, uh, well, for those who don't, uh, you can go just search up Roblox online. It's free to download. And once you get into it um, and you download it, you will get Roblox Studio. And I have it right here. So let's go ahead and open this. And this is what, this is their studio. Um, don't feel overwhelmed. It is a lot, but I'm going to try and guide you through this. So once this loads up, I'm just going to remove, remove all of this that we don't need right now. There we go. So this is the start page right here. Um, this is what you're going to be greeted with. You can log in up here when you first open it. And here, this is where we can make our new projects. We have some basic, just a base plate, just a flat open area that we can work with, or we have some templates, um, some different themes, or there are a couple gameplay um, templates here as well. Um, games here, never really used these much, but this is where you can, uh, this is where you'll work with your games that you've made and my projects. This is where you'll work a lot. This is where you can come back to your previous uh, projects, open up projects that you're working on and keep going with them. Uh, so I'm just gonna open up a base plate here. This is gonna be the first thing we're gonna do. Um, basic movement controls. I'm just gonna hold down right click with my mouse. It lets me look around and then WASD to move around and Q and E to move up and down. E will make you go up, Q will make you go down. Um, that's that. So if you look here, this is our basic 3D world. This is where we can look at our 3D world and interact with it. And across the top, we have this all these tabs. And so let's, I'm just going to walk you through what each of these is. This is your home tab, your basic home tab. We have our different tools, some of our tools here. Um, this is just a general overview of, you know, we have a few different tools from that will be useful to us. Uh, model. This tab uh, has a lot more tools specifically for working with uh, the objects and the parts that we're going to be using to build in the studio. And we'll go into detail as we use them. Uh, terrain, this is more, uh, this is special uh, tools for making terrain. Uh, testing, uh, this is for when you're testing stuff in your world. Uh, most often we'll use it with uh, stuff related to scripting to make sure the scripting works. Or you can also use it to just hop in through the world as your character, and walk around in it and see how it looks. View, come back to this one in a minute. And plugins. Uh, plugins, when you start, this will be empty and you can just use this to. Uh, there are a few plugins that you might find useful that'll help you. Um, that'll just be useful for you to develop. Um, they might speed something up or, you know, 
you can make animations with them. Uh, but let's go back to view here. This is this is going to be the first thing you might look at. Uh, this is uh, basically shows you the different um, bunch of different information that we can get. So right now we just have our start page up right here. That's where we started. And we have come on bar, which is just this little bar at the bottom. And we'll that's used for running some code, but we'll get to that later. You don't need to worry about that now. Uh, the biggest um, things that you're going to want to open are your Explorer. You can see I had it open earlier. Uh, this is your, uh, basically will show you all of the parts and objects that are in your game that you're working with. So it's fairly empty right now, but as you uh, do some, some building and stuff, this will start to fill up. Uh, properties, this is where uh, you can deal with the properties of parts. And so um, we'll work with that. And then toolbox right here. Um, these might pop up in other places on your screen. You can click and drag them around. We could put this at the bottom if we wanted to. But I'm just going to leave mine here if I can. And I'll just leave it right here. I'm just going to resize it. So the toolbox, you can see it's got some... These are pre-made models that people have made and put up for free. A little note, this little symbol here just means it's been endorsed by Roblox so it's a good quality model that you can use and then that's the basics of what you're going to use right in the beginning when you're designing uh, stuff and in the next tutorial I'll we can dive right in and start actually using this um, and you know there is a lot here don't worry uh, I'll book you through it as we go through each of these and I'll show you um, what need what you can use for everything um, so yeah this I know it's a lot again but this is gonna be fun and so if you want to go ahead you know uh, open up studio bring up a base plate and in the next tutorial, I'll show you how we can get started actually putting some objects into the world here and making some cool stuff.